The standoff at the Al-Fatah Mosque in Ramsey Square began on Friday when the Muslim Brotherhood, mostly Muslim Brotherhood supporters of ousted President Mohamed Morsi called for a day of rage protest that gathered uh, thousands and thousands of Morsi supporters in downtown Ramsey Square, which is a major, uh, major transportation interchange in downtown Cairo. And it's right next to the Fatah Mosque, which is a well-known uh, uh, conservative religious mosque here in Egypt. Uh, that mosque served as a morgue and something of a, a field hospital for all of Friday evening and into Saturday, when it was essentially transformed into the last bastion of a, a holdout between Morsi supporters and security forces. And as you can see in the footage here, the security forces were pelting the mosque all morning on Saturday and well into the afternoon before they later stormed the mosque. What the military has been saying and what the state news agency has been saying is that the military and police were taking fire from the minaret at this mosque. But when I was there this morning and this afternoon, it was very clear that there wasn't much shooting, if any shooting at all, from the minaret of the mosque and that the smoke that you can see coming off of the minaret was actually just shards of the facade of the mosque, the stone facade of the mosque, coming off when the military and the police were shooting at it. So it wasn't very clear that there was, quite a, there was any shooting that was coming out of the Al-Fatah mosque. But later on Saturday afternoon, after I left the scene, the police and the military stormed the mosque. Now the 24-hour standoff between the two groups took about 173 lives. For the Wall Street Journal, this is Matt Bradley in Cairo.